Electronics Information Practice Test for the ASFAB. There will be a brief pause after answer choices are given. This is a great time to pause the video to solve. Question 1. When the value of the total resistance is equal to the sum of the individual resistances, that means that the resistances are what? A in series. B in parallel. C in a mixed circuit. D in a closed circuit. In a series circuit, the total current flows through every component. That means that the total resistance will be a sum of the individual resistances as each one of them will oppose the flow, as shown in this equation. Where RSC represents the total resistance in a series circuit, and RI, R1, R2, R3 represent the individual resistances. Question 2. The current is what and the voltage is what for all elements in a series circuit? A equal equal B variable equal C equal variable D variable variable In a series circuit, the current flows through one path only, meaning that the current would be equal for all elements. However, according to the definition of voltage, the current, I, would be the same, but the voltage will be variable, depending on the individual resistance, R, of each component. Question 3. A. What is a set of elements or electrical devices that allow the flow of electrons through a system when they are joined together in the proper way? A. Alternator. B. Power transformer. C. Circuit. D. Battery. Another way of seeing a circuit is like an electrical network with a closed trajectory. The other options are part of the set of elements in a circuit. Circuits are ruled by Kirchhoff's law and Ohm's law to describe how electrons flow through the system. Question 4. When the current cannot flow through a circuit, it is called a what? A series circuit. B open circuit. C parallel circuit. D closed circuit. In an open circuit, the current cannot flow because there is an interruption in the flow of electrons. As the name says, the electrical arrangement is not closed, meaning that the electrical energy cannot be transported due to the absence of a conduction medium, think of a broken wire. Question 5. Which of these is the total resistance of three parallel resistors of 330 ohms each? A. 990 ohms. B. 330 ohms. C. 660 ohms. D. 110 ohms. For resistors in parallel, the total resistance is the formula below. Plugging in the values of the three resistors, we get the following. And by inverting this equation we get the final result. Question 6. Which of these are passive components of a circuit? A. Resistor and voltage source. B. Resistor and coil. C. Condenser and current source. D. Coil and current source. Passive components do not produce amplification and are used to control electricity by working together to improve the performance of active elements. Resistors oppose the flow of current, and coils create a magnetic field that opposes to sudden changes in current intensity. Voltage and current sources are active components. Question 7. Which of these is the main element of a wire? A. The insulator. B. The cover. C. The shield. D. The conductor. The main function of a wire is to conduct electrons. This is done by the conductor element, which is typically composed of stranded aluminum or copper. The insulator, cover, and shield are used to improve the performance of the conductor, but are not the main elements of a wire. 
Question 8. Which of these is not a difference between an ampere meter and a voltmeter? A. The voltmeter measures the electromotive force or voltage, and the ampere meter measures the intensity of the current. B. The ampere meter is connected in series with the circuit, while the voltmeter is connected in parallel. C. The resistance of an ampere meter is big in comparison with a voltmeter. D. The precision of the ampere meter is bigger than the precision of the voltmeter. An ampere meter works by putting the device in series with the circuit to allow all the current to flow through it and measure the intensity accurately in the range of milliamperes and microamperes. However, the resistance of an ampere meter is small in comparison with a voltmeter, since the resistance is zero for an ideal ampere meter to avoid any interferences with the current flow. Question 9. When the current circulates in the same direction and its value is constant, it is known as what? A. Continuous current. B. Alternating current. C. Ramp current. D. Pulsating current. If we observe a voltage versus time graph for a continuous current, we would see a straight, flat line, meaning that the voltage doesn't change for this type of current. The other types of current in the list involve changes in the intensity of the current, ramp current, or in its direction, alternating current. The pulsating current is similar to the continuous current, but it involves interruptions in the current flow. Question 10. What type of values does a digital signal take? A. Sawtooth B. Continuous C. Ramp D. Discrete A digital signal presents a discontinuous variation in time, and can only take certain discrete values, usually two. The wave shape for a digital signal is widely known, and has the shape of a square wave. Digital signals are classified by the number of possible states in binary, ternary, quaternary, and by their electrical nature in unipolar and bipolar. Looking for more study help? Get additional practice tests, study guides, and flashcards for the ASFAB at uniontestprep.com forward slash ASFAB.